Hey friends, welcome to another episode of A Crep from the 80s. I am your lusciously erotic host, Chris Seaver, and uh, I am coming to you today to deliver to you my, um, my 80s DVD and Blu-ray collection. There's a little bit of early 90s in there as well, and even some of the, you know, earlier than that, before the 80s. Um, but for the most part, it is my, uh, yeah, my 80s collection uh, of television and cartoon shows from back in the day, the stuff that I grew up with. Um, for you old folks who have been with us since the beginning, you know that I was born in 1977. So for you new folks, I was born in 1977 uh, and I um, grew up in the entirety of the 1980s, uh, my entire childhood. I'm going into my teens, uh, was the 80s. And um, I was a pop culture sponge. I still am to this day. And uh, as testament, I mean, this channel is testament to my my uh, obsession and love of that decade. And um, I loved a lot of television, for sure. I think a lot of kids growing up in the 80s were, you know, raised by the television. Um, and I certainly am no exception. And uh, I, for the most part, everything that I get, uh, 80s wise, um, or early 90s, what have you, a TV, cartoon, is stuff that I watched and really enjoyed. Um, I never, I don't get, I'm, and I'm this way with movies and toys and things like that. I only get what I liked or loved and had um, back in the day. I'm not like a, I don't go and get full on collections just because. So like, oh, it's the 80s, so I have to get everything. No, that's, that's not me. Um, so this stuff I actually did enjoy and to an extent some of them don't hold up as much today um, but I still love them for the nostalgia factor um, and I will watch them. There's nothing that I have that I will not watch um, because I don't like to clutter. I don't like to have collections where they're just there again just because. Um, so anything I own, I love and I enjoy to this day or did love and enjoy back in the day. So that's that's how it's going, folks. And it's not going to be like, again, it's not going to be huge. You know, some of you are going to be like, but what about this? Well, I just told you it maybe didn't appeal to me growing up in the 80s. Uh, you know, I might have watched it a little bit, but it didn't, you know, it didn't solidify. It didn't pull me in. Um or it could be a situation where I grew up with, um, so I was, while my mom was in my life, she was very young and she lived down the street with, uh, from me uh, and my grandmother, but my great grandparents sort of took me in and uh, raised me um, and my great aunt. So I was living in a house with, you know, a bunch of old people <laughs> essentially. Uh, so if there were shows that they were watching, um, in particular, uh, like Golden Girls or Cheers and things like that, uh, then yeah, I certainly watched them and I saw them, but it didn't like, it didn't like grab a hold of me like a lot of these shows did. Um, so, you know, I saw Murder, She Wrote, <laughs> I saw Matlock and stuff like that. I do like MacGyver, but it wasn't like a huge thing for me. I love the A-Team and I still need to get that. Um, but, uh, you know, so there's that. So th this is really, this is the stuff I really gravitated towards. So let's get into it. I'll try not to do like a big, uh, you know, backstory to everything. And it is something that I, uh, tend to do from time to time. Um, and the videos can go pretty long because of it, but, uh, we'll see what I can do. We'll see what I can do. Uh, so we'll, we'll go with He-Man, the Masters of the Universe. Um, you know, it's uh, one of my favorite 80s properties altogether. Um, 
So I had to have the entire series. And throughout the years, I've had like, you know, different sets and DVDs and all of that stuff, different versions and things like that. Um, this was the newer um, completed version. And I got to say, with all honesty, um, this is a cartoon that does not hold up uh, for me. Um, I, I have it because I love the franchise. I love the property. As I said, it's one of my favorites from back then. Um, but it just, it just doesn't hold up, you know? Um, and I, and I've watched all the documentaries. I've watched anything that has to do with Masters of the Universe and He-Man. And, and I love that stuff. But, um, the cartoon itself, um, you know, the stories were silly. I mean, this were made for kids, you know, it was to sell toys and whatnot. Um, and I didn't really think they were that engrossing. Uh, and not true with the next one. But I do have this on here. This was the um, in 2002 when T-Man came back. Um, and I was all on board for it. So this is the complete series of... He Man uh, to a thousand two. I also like you know collected the toys that were uh, based off of the cartoon and everything. But um, Shira, Princess of Power, um, I thought was a little better than He Man. Um, and as a you know almost forty six year old adult, I still believe that um, the writing was a little better. The stories were a little better. Um, and I love, as much as I love Skeletor and his bumbling boobs, boy, do I love the Horde. The Horde have always been my go-to baddies in the Masters universe. Um, and so I think they're dope. And they're some of my favorite, uh, toys from the original line as well. Um, she, uh, holds up. Another holds up for me is Thundercats. Uh, of course I love the property. Um collected the toys anything thundercats i i had uh i love the cartoon this cartoon i think for the most part at least for the first season um i do think has some pretty fun storytelling and um i really enjoy it and of course you know rankin and bass uh it's a rankin and bass cartoon i love me some rankin and bass um i wish we would get a thundercats movie i hope that uh adam wingard movie actually happens but yeah, I love Thundercats. Ho, ho! Uh, sticking with that, the 2011 Thundercats reboot, um, I also think is pretty spectacular. Um, I didn't really get the toys when this came out, but I thought the show was pretty good. It's a shame that it's only one season, but I thought the reboot was pretty dope. So I like that. Uh, whew! Mask. This is one of my favorite, another one of my favorite franchises from the 80s as far as kids cartoons and toys go. Love the toys, love the cartoons, loved Mask. I just thought it was a great, great show. Um, great concept. And this is the complete series. Um, still love Mask. Uh, I have recollected the toys as well, which you've all seen. Um... And a an amazingly kicking theme song. Just, you know, you can go uh, further down the, the channel to find uh, Casey and I. We did a our favorite 80s theme songs for cartoons. And there's a whole list. And for the most part, <laughs> most of them were all written by the same people, which we talk about. The Mask is one of those great fucking, great fucking cartoons. Uh, he ha yo, he ha yo. Look at this, yo Joe. The original series, all uh, yo. Um, interesting, interesting thing. I really enjoyed the cartoon of GI Joe growing up, um, but I didn't really collect the toys that much. I had a few of the toys from the line, uh, but nothing substantial. Um, I had a lot of friends who had. A large portion of G.I. Joe, um, including my friend Greg Martin, where half of his room was like Transformers and half of his room was G.I. Joe and he had everything. Um, but I really enjoyed the cartoon and I loved the serial as well. 
but just never really got into the toys. You know, my toy lines were uh, Kenner Star Wars, you know, Masters of the Universe, Mask, uh, Real Ghostbusters, uh, Ninja Turtles, Centurions, uh, you know, Bionic Six, things like that. Um, Thundercats for sure. Um, I just the uh, GI Joe thing just it never uh, never hit me like the other stuff. Speaking of, here is the complete series of the G1 Transformers cartoon. Love Transformers. Um, of course, I had Transformers and Gobots. I didn't care. I loved them all. Um, but yeah, totally loved the Transformers. I had uh, at least two Transformers-themed birthdays growing up. Um, but yeah, I'm a Transformers fan uh, still to this day. And uh, yeah, I love me some. GF, here is the Beetlejuice cartoon, the complete series. Um, obviously, this is later 80s. This is right after the movie. Um, 88 was the movie, and then the cartoon started um, pretty much uh, quickly after. And um, I I really dug it. Uh, I loved the movie. The movie was unique. Of course, I saw it in theaters. Um, and this was just a an extension of the movie, but in cartoon form. And I thought they did a really good job. It was fun and, and quirky and spooky and goofy, like like Beetlejuice and I and I love the characters designs and everything I just I thought it was really good um, so I got that um, this is an awesome cartoon 1983 Dungeons and Dragons this is the complete series um, of course grew up uh, with Dungeons and Dragons everywhere um, had friends that played I never played I didn't have the patience for it but I loved the mythology I love fantasy um, I just never had the patience to do a full-on campaign for Dungeons and Dragons, but I watched a lot of people do it. Um, but I loved the cartoon. The cartoon was great. Uh, I'm looking forward to the new movie. I do have the Hasbro toys that were just released based off the cartoon, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, this is a great, um, great full series on, on DVD. Another classic, of course, is the real Ghostbusters right here. Uh, now, when these originally came out, uh, I used to have that Time Life uh, Firehouse set for the DVDs. Um, and I ultimately sold that set, which I'm kicking myself for now. But, um, you know, this is good. This has over 100 episodes. Uh, I don't need every last one. Real Ghostbusters. I mean, you know... Again, if you've seen any of my videos, you know <laughs> you know what Ghostbusters means to me uh, then and now. So I have to have this cartoon. It's a classic cartoon. And I, you know, again, a lot of these cartoons I watch to this day. Um, I will throw them in at night, too, when we're in bed. And, you know, I'll show Katie some of these episodes and uh, she'll laugh. <laughs> she... Thundercat, she always, she thinks it's hilarious. Like, so every time Lionel goes, ho, Thundercat, ho, ho, any, any time, ho, she'll just call it back to him, ho. <laughs> we giggle, you know, it's ridiculous, you know. Um, and real Ghostbusters, hell yeah, it holds up. Some of these stories, some of the writing um, is fantastic. You know, they had a lot of like comic book writers working on that show and you know, they try to sneak in some actual, uh, you know, a little more sophistication for 10-year-olds uh, back in the day when the cartoon started in 86. Um, but yeah. Uh, as you'll notice, um, I am a Hanna-Barbarian. I love Hanna-Barbera. I never got into Looney Tunes ever as a kid. Um, Looney Tunes was, you know, eh second rate to me i know that's sacrilege to some people but i just didn't get into it the Hanna barbera stuff was more my my speed and i i love that stuff so to wit um the uh two seasons of the pac-man cartoon from Hanna barbera i love this cartoon uh with a really kicking christmas special 
uh, during season two, but I used to watch this at my grandma Bowker's house when it was on um, early 80s. I love this cartoon. Uh, I think we were all sort of Pac-Man crazy. My favorite arcade game is Miss Pac-Man. So much so that I had to own uh, uh, an authentic uh, cabinet, which I have in the movie room. I used to play it all the time as a kid. Um, uh, at a local sub shop and the pizza shop that we had. I love Miss Pac-Man. But I, and I love the cereal. We were Pac-Man crazy in the 80s. You kids know. Another Hanna-Barbera show. <laughs> Mr. T, this show is ridiculous, but I loved it then, and boy, do I have a, a blast with it now. It's just so ridiculous, so silly, uh, but it's super fun, and I had, to, I had to have it. Here's another one, late 80s, 1988. Um, I definitely watched it. Another kickin' sound, uh, soundtrack, the theme song, Denver, the Last Dinosaur, right, you know? <laughs> this is... Uh, this is where it's at, guys. This is where it's at. <laughs> Bunch of kids <laughs> find a dinosaur, end up hanging it, hanging out with it, become friends, you know. Rock and roll dinosaur. But um Yeah. Uh ooh, I love this cartoon. Still love it to this day. The complete collection of the the Littles. We are the Littles. Another fantastic theme song um again by uh Shooky Levy and uh Haim Saban uh but this is it man this is this is the um the entire series plus the two feature films for the littles uh great cartoon I still put it on my Saturday morning sleepovers um here we go here's a bunch of them here's um uh, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? The original series. The 13 Ghosts of Scooby-Doo, the complete series. Um, and then the entire series of seasons one through four of A Pup Named Scooby-Doo, which I absolutely loved and still love. Um, I love Scooby-Doo just in general. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there we go. Dooby dooby doo. Hanna Barbera. Keeping with the Hanna Barbera, we got the Smurfs. Uh, I only have season one, volume one. Um, I'm not going to get, I think there's nine seasons of the Smurfs. Um, but, uh, you know, this is what I got. <laughs> I'll probably get volume two, and then I'll probably get season two, volume one and two, and down the road. I'll, I'll get more Smurf, but I, you know, I love the Smurfs. Not as much as my boy, Bobby Heckman. Um, DuckTales. I was not a big Disney guy growing up. Um, you know, DuckTales premiered in um, 86, 87, and uh, I watched DuckTales, and that's about it. It's the only real, like, Disney... Well, I watched Gummy Bears. I definitely watched Gummy Bears, but I didn't watch, like, Rescue Rangers or any of that stuff. Um you know, when this was airing, I was nine, ten years old, and um, this was about as Disney I could get. I love, I just love the adventure of it all and all the crazy stuff that they did. They, you know, went on adventures and whatnot, and it was very, you know, it was like Indiana Jones ish, uh, where they would just go and solve all these mysteries and go on adventures. And so, Ducktales sticks with me. Of course, the theme song is amazing. <laughs> so this. This, I, I, you know, I loved the movie. Uh, I saw the movie uh, two times in the same weekend when it was released in theaters. Uh, and this was the cartoon that came after it and during the sequel, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, which was the early 90s. But um, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures. This is a uh, compilation, um, two-disc set of some of the uh, episodes from the show, you know. And it's a it's fun to me because the the first season, um, Alex Winter and uh, Keanu Reeves do their voices for Bill and Ted, so that's fun. Another one. This is early '90s. This was right after Back to the Future two and three came out. The complete animated series of Back to the Future. 
I loved anything Back to the Future. Back to the Future is one of my favorite films of all time. I just think it's... It's... Back to the Future is a perfect film. And I love Back to the Future 2 almost as much. I Boy, do I not like Back to the Future 3. But I had fun with the cartoon. And I loved all the live action stuff that was in between. So, Back to the Future cartoon. Uh, more of my Hanna-Barbarian love. <laughs> One of my favorite Hanna-Barbaria... Hanna-Barbera characters is Captain Caveman. Um, I love Captain Caveman. Always did when I was little. Um, I had like stuffed animals and um, about 10 years ago my wife got me a, uh, a Captain Caveman stuffed animal that was very reminiscent to the stuff that I had growing up so, and I still have it to this day. But yeah, Captain Caveman and the Teen Angels. Great cartoon. Captain Caveman just in general is hilarious to me. Um, this was also, this, this lasted about four seasons. Um, the Snorks, I loved the show. This was basically the Smurfs, but underwater. Um, you better believe I watched the Snorks. Um, so I've got the first, uh, you know, first season right here. Yeah, by million. This was a fun show, really kick-ass theme song again. Uh, this is Jason the Wheeled Warriors. This is the complete show. Um, they did have toys, but they didn't have like full on figures for the toys. I had some of the vehicles and then you got these little brown figures that came with the toys. Um, none of the actual characters from the cartoon, which was a bummer. And the, um, the toys were not called Jace and the Wheeled Warriors. They were just the Wheeled Warriors. Um, but it's a, it's a great science fiction fantasy action cartoon with a kicking theme song uh, again by the same people um, now this is hilarious this is more uh comedy for me the reason i have this um i i didn't always watch this show when it was on uh, it was very akin to um the karate kid cartoon which also really sucked but um, I have this for, for comedy value, but this is <laughs> uh, volume one of the Rambo cartoon. Um, and you can get several different volumes of this cartoon that's out there. I just needed the one. Um, but it's just, I love that when I was growing up, they turned a lot of R-rated material into, you know, kids television and um, franchises and toys and breakfast cereals and things like that that's hilarious to me um loved it then and i love it even more now you know as a middle-aged man look at that um this was a great cartoon captain n the game master um this was on fox and it was uh coupled with um you know the legend of zelda cartoon which was pretty bad and the <laughs> the half live action half animated super mario brothers show which was also pretty bad but captain and the game master was pretty dope and it still is um, uh, this is um the elf cartoon this is just one of the volumes of the elf cartoon um i loved everything elf i think most of us kids growing up in the 80s loved elf i still do um a gr another great theme song by the same composers. <laughs> um, but yeah, Elf Cartoon. Ooh, oh my God, this DVD set is truly outrageous. Gem. I probably only watched the first season, if that, growing up. Um, you know, all of my, my girlfriends around the neighborhood and my sister and everything. Everybody, you know, all the girls love Gem. But I, I found some fun out of Gem. I loved the Misfits, which was the rival group in, in the show. I loved them more. Um, the concept is goofy, totally 80s. Um, but yeah, gotta have it. This is another weird one, but I really enjoyed it. And I like the theme song, again, by the same duo. Uh, this is the Dennis the Menace Complete Series on DVD. Um, this also played uh, Syndication. But um, it was an 80s cartoon that I watched. And uh, I really dig it. Just fun. Yeah. Um, OK. 
Okay. Um, these are, ooh, this is, this is on Blu-ray. Uh, one of my favorite Hanna-Barbera cartoons, Thundar the Barbarian. I am so happy that they put this out on Blu-ray. Um, this is the complete series. And this was early 80s, but boy, did I love it. I, you know, anything like fantasy, action, sword and sorcery, stuff like that, I, I really gravitated towards. Um, so that, and then this is a, this is a bootleg. I'm kind of sticking with the, uh, the cartoons here. Uh, where's that, where's that other one? Hmm. Where's that other one up here? Maybe it's, okay, well I also have, I have the, um, the entire collection of the Bionic Six, um, which was a cartoon and toy line that I I loved. Um, it was short lived, but it it's a it, and it still holds up for me. Uh, I so I have a bootleg of the complete series on um, Blu-ray, thanks to my buddy um, uh, Bionic Six. It's somewhere in here on on a random. DVD somewhere, uh, but I got that. Um, I also have the um, I have a bootleg version of um, Shirt Tales, the complete series, another Hanna Barbera cartoon. Love Shirt Tales, Shirt Tales. Um, this is the complete series. Um, this is uh, from the DVD collection that was out there, um, and then it was ported to this Blu ray. And uh, my buddy uh, Bobby burnt this for me. Um, so, Bobby got, here, let's do this. We got, um, if you guys know, I have always been a big fan of Degrassi Junior High and Degrassi High. So this is the complete series of Degrassi Junior High and the complete series of Degrassi High with the movie School's Out. Uh, no, I grew up in school watching Degrassi because in um, health class and sometimes science class, um, they would roll out the TV and put on PBS and they'd show episodes of, of Degrassi Junior High because it was, it was real life. It was kids reflecting what kids were going through, you know, albeit they were Canadian and, uh, but they were definitely going through some shit. I mean, the Degrassi show is like, whew. But uh, yeah, to this day, I, I love Degrassi, and it's uh, you know it's a big part of uh, why I made my parody show Wellsville Nights. Um, another big fan of this show. I uh, grew up having a crush on her. Uh, we're we are the same age essentially, but um, these are the four seasons of Punky Brewster. I loved Punky growing up, and I also loved the cartoon. Um, which is, by the way, included on each season of Punky. You get the the uh, you, you get every episode of the animated show. Her and Glomer and the gang going on crazy animated adventures. But um, I love Punky Brewster. Soleil Moon Fry, as she matured, as we both were maturing at the same age, I was. Mm, taken with her beauty and beauties, plural, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, now we got one of my favorite television shows ever. All eight seasons of different strokes. All here. Amazing theme song. Written and performed by Alan Thick. Yes, that Alan Thick of Growing Pains. He also wrote the theme song to Facts of Life. And his wife sang the Facts of Life theme song. But yeah, this is um, all eight seasons of Different Strokes. Absolutely love this show. Then and now, to this day, it is almost always included on my Saturday morning sleepover event that I do. Um, 
because I just think it's a fantastic show. Yeah. Now we've got um, um, again, if any of you know me, you know I am a Henson head. I love Jim Henson. I love the Henson Company, and um, the Muppets were something that I glommed on to very early on. Um, two of the very first films that I remember seeing in theaters uh, were The Dark Crystal and The Great Muppet Caper. Um, I just love the Muppets, so I've got Muppet Show Season 1, 2, and 3. I don't know why they will not put out the remaining episodes, but I hope one day they do. You can watch the Muppet Show um, with those missing episodes on Disney+, Plus, which I have done. But I love The Muppet Show. And, of course, we had HBO growing up, and so I loved Fraggle Rock. And this is the complete series on Blu-ray with a ton of special features. This is a beautiful, beautiful, wonderful set, um, guys. I, it really is. So if you love... Henson, if you love the Muppets, um, this is a must-have for sure. Uh, and uh, you know it, guys, you know it. I love Ernest, so I had to have the complete series of Hey Vern, It's Ernest, the television show. Um, I grew up with Ernest. I'm not talking about the, the movies. Um, you know, any of the rural towns, if you grew up in those rural towns, I grew up in... Wellsville, New York, which is a know-nothing town. Um, since the early 80s, we were getting the the Jim Varney Ernest commercials. You know, hawking everything from uh, friggin' ice cream and, and orange juice to, to cars and, you know, windows and <laughs> whatever he was, he was selling. Uh, and I loved Ernest. And I saw the first five Ernest films in theaters, but only four of them count. Um, and as you know, there's there's nine Ernest films. But um, uh, so I love Ernest. Always have, always will. It's a special place in my heart. Um, now, this... Um, I was very young uh, when this ended, uh, so I always watched reruns in the 80s. But um, this is the complete series one and two of Buck Rogers. I loved this show. Um, and they did a fantastic job putting these suckas on Blu-ray. Uh, and they look great. Um, great theme song, great characters. Of course... Aaron Gray, who later was on uh, another one of my favorite shows, Silver Spoons. Um, this is just a collection of the ridiculous after-school specials from the 80s. Um, this is class of 82 to 86. I love this type of stuff, uh, not only for the nostalgia of it, but also seeing a lot of the, the TV stars of the day take on these ridiculously melodramatic roles for, you know, trying to teach kids and teens the the do's and don'ts and rights of wrongs of <laughs> growing up, trials and tribulations. So the after school specials. Um, and then I've got Elf, of course, right here. Now there's a fourth season, and we do have the fourth season. Well, we did. Uh, River, I think, destroyed those discs. But when River was growing up, um, I put the Elf DVDs in his room and he would watch Elf, he would watch uh, Pee-wee, he would watch um, the Weird Al show. He'd watch all this stuff, like, at night before he was going to bed. And, you know, he didn't treat the discs well. So the fourth season, I think, became a victim to his disgusting paw prints and scratches and broken, broken all that stuff. One of these days, I'll get that complete set that's out there, but uh, Elf is here. I've gotta have the Elf. Um, okay, we're going down here, we're going down here, we got the down, hop and the skip, oh, the hill. Um, this is, this is just a bootleg, uh, Blu-ray, but it has the complete series of 
It's Your Move. This was a Jason Bateman television show um, that I did catch uh, growing up, and I liked it. I liked Jason Bateman in general. He was also on Silver Spoons, and then he was on Valerie's Family, and which became the Hogan Family, which earlier was Valerie and all this stuff. But what was also a great show. But Jason Bateman, I've known since the 80s, and I, I just love him, the characters that he plays. This was his show. It was called It's Your Move. And it, it's really fantastic. And um, you were able to see the entire first season on YouTube in pretty good quality. And so I had my buddy uh, rip the whole show for me. So I got that. Um, and again, one of my favorite television shows of all time, The Facts of Life. This is the complete series of Facts of Life. This is all nine seasons of The Facts of Life. Um, which was a spinoff of uh, Different Strokes. Uh, Mrs. Garrett was in the first uh, two seasons of Different Strokes, and then she left that show and stayed as Mrs. Garrett. You know, Charlotte Ray played the character and went on to do Different Strokes. And then they even did, like, crossover episodes, uh, which was awesome. But um, I absolutely adore this show. You can see one of... You can see my Facts of Life video in the channel below uh, where I talk about my history with Facts of Life and what it means to me. So, I love it. Uh, same with this one. And this one is actually my favorite television show of all time. This is Family Ties, the complete series, all seven episodes. Again, um, Casey and I do a Family Ties-centric episode in the channel, and you can hear my thoughts uh, of what I think of this show. And again, what it meant to me then and what it means to me now but uh i love this show um i love this show too this is the complete series this is all six seasons of the wonder years in this box set um i mean the 80s man you see this you see what i'm showing you you see all this all these gems this is all the decade of the 80s, man. God damn. The Wonder Years. Now, you can say whatever you want about Roseanne. I don't care. I know she's wacky. She's off her rocker. Um, but, boy, did I love that show. So I have the complete series of Roseanne. And you better believe those Halloween episodes were... Mm, choice. Some of the best... Halloween episodes coming out of television back in that that time for sure. Um, so I have the the entire series of Roseanne. Um, what a nut job. Um, uh, another fantastic show. I need to get season six and season seven, which would cap the entire series off. But this is Growing Pains. I love this show. Um, Alan Thicke, Kirk Cameron, The Seavers. You better believe I was picked on at, at school because of this show. Didn't, didn't understand why people were picking on me. It, it was a cool show. It was cool characters. I'm happy to be a Seaver. You know what I'm saying? So I got to get season six and seven to cap that off. Um, here are the first three seasons. I still got to get the fourth season of another show that I love, Mr. Belvedere. Great, great soundtrack, uh, theme song. Strips on the China, never met it before. But, um, yeah, seasons one, two, and three. And I got to get that fourth season. Mr. Belvedere, Dachion. You know you gotta watch that AIDS episode. Mm. This is a crime. This is a travesty. I've talked about it before. It befunks and befuddles me. Um, I don't understand that there is only one season of Who's the Boss on DVD. Now, does that make sense to you, folks? The first season only of Who's the Boss on DVD? I don't get it. I do not get it. Where's the rest of my boss? Where the, uh, the 
Wait, 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 the Angela, Jonathan, Samantha, Mona. Who's the boss? I'll be back in a moment. Stick around. Where is my who's the boss? I, I want the rest of it. I love this show. God damn it. Love this show. Hey, yo. Oh, wait. Uh, here we go. Now, this you can get all the other seasons, and I just haven't yet. This is the first and second season of Perfect Strangers. At some point, I will get the rest of the show because I do love it. And another great... Um, great theme song now this um obviously it started in 1986 but it became as the seasons went on it became part of the original lineup of tgif um which a lot of people don't remember that it was part of the original lineup um but yeah perfect strangers man um and then we got uh, the first season of Head of the Class, which I really dig this show. A um, couple of the uh, cast members went on to pretty much rule Nickelodeon and become the, the heads of Nickelodeon uh, uh, development and television and all that stuff. And one of them is a one of them is a not so good guy, but the other one is a fantastic guy. But anyway, it all started <laughs> Head of the Class. Uh, I think it's a really good show. I want that damn Just the Ten of Us show on DVD. Give us that. I'm doing it the best I can. We're not nobody but me. Oh. Silver Spoons. This is another one of those travesties. Why? Why aren't you getting the entire five seasons of Silver Spoons? No, you only get the one season of Silver Spoons on DVD. That makes no sense to me. But here it is. I have it. Luckily, you can find Silver Spoons on a lot of the streaming services, and they offer a lot of the different seasons there. Uh, so I've been able to relive. Um, this is another one of those shows that I put on Saturday Morning Sleepover a lot. Um, I love this show. I've, I've only got... The first, what is this? I have the first two seasons, but I need to get the other two seasons of this. Um, Charles in Charge. Charles in Charge. Scott Bayo, Willie Ames, back together again after Zapped. Um, it's a great show. Fun theme song. And uh, I grew up with it, and I still like it to this day. So does my kid. My son loves it, too. Um, I wish they would put this all out. I don't think they did, because if they did, I would probably have it. And if you can get it now, it's probably um, really expensive on eBay or something. But uh, My Two Dads, I believe there were three seasons of My Two Dads. Um, and I watched every single one of those seasons. I, I watched every single episode. Um, I think it's a great show. You can count on me. No matter what you do, you can count this was a short-lived show, but I watched it. I thought it was great. Um, I liked the characters. I thought the theme song was dope. This is pure 80s. This is Square Pegs. Um, of course, you got the one and only Sarah Jessica Parker in a very early role. Um, but yeah, it's, it's totally 80s. And um, it's the entire series on DVD. And it's really fun. I think so. Um, this I have not opened up yet, but I watched it, but I knew I wanted it because I loved the show growing up. And I, it, yes, it went into the eighties. Um, uh, but I didn't start watching it until probably mid, mid to late eighties in reruns. But this is, um, the entire series of Mork and Mindy. Um, fun show. Robin Williams, of course. Uh, this show, I need to get the second season, but boy, do I love this show in general. Um, this was Steven Spielberg's Amazing Stories. This is the first season. Um, and yes, I do need to get that second season. But this is just, I mean, this is, this is fantastic. This show was phenomenal. Great theme song by John Williams. Um, so many amazing directors and actors took part in amazing stories really fun 
tales um, all throughout. And my favorite episode of all time of Amazing Stories, Mummy Daddy. Love that episode. Oh, my God. It has always stuck with me. Um, this was another short-lived episode, and boy, did I love it. And I did a whole, I did an episode down on the channel about my love of this show, Misfits of Science, with Courtney Cox, and Kevin Peter Hall, who later became the Predator, and Harry from Harry and the Hendersons. This show is phenomenal. It's a, it's a superhero show from 1985, did not last because the main star was killed in a plane crash. Um, uh, but boy, was I gaga for this show when it aired, and I have a story about it in the episode about Misfits of Science. Great show. Uh, and this is the um, official German DVD complete series of the show. It's in English, and um, if you've got, you know, region-free Blu-ray player, like I do, or region free DVD player, or what, any of that stuff, this will play no problem on that stuff. So, uh, this was a great show as well growing up. Um, this is Tales from the Dark Side, the complete series, really freaky opening um, of the show. But this was another, um, you know, you've got, I mean, you know, created by George Romero. Uh, but this has episodes from Stephen King and Tom Savini and George Romero, all that, all that creep show crew and um, great directors, great actors and great special effects make for a fantastic, complete series of Tales from the Dark Side. Really, really good. Um, now, this goes with the miniseries as well. Um, and you can go below and listen to Bobby and I talk about this franchise. It's called V. Um, and it's split and differous. The two miniseries are awesome. The show is okay. So they did a television series after they did the miniseries. And it's not as good. Um, but I like it enough to own it and... I still love a lot of the characters that are involved. Um, but I love the franchise in general. V is awesome. If you haven't seen V, it was an event. Watch the episode down below where Bobby and I talk about our love and history of V. Watch it every single year, actually. This is the complete series of Knight Rider on Blu-ray. I saw that there's this insane new collection of Knight Rider from Turbine Films, who just recently did the amazing um, Frighteners 4K set, which I have. Um, I love I love Knight Rider, but I don't know if I need to upgrade that much for Knight Rider. These already, to me, as opposed to the original broadcast versions. These look fucking amazing. Um, so, I don't know. I might be okay with the entire series just right here on this Blu-ray. So, um, Great show, and again, great synthwave uh, theme song. Um, I mean, I don't know how you can be a fan of the 80s or grow up in the 80s and early 90s and not have this show. But this is the complete series of Saved by the Bell. Yes, with Good Morning, Miss Bliss. Finally, on DVD, the entire series. The precursor to Saved by the Bell. Um, and this has everything. This has the show. This has special features. This has the movies. This has a booklet. Um, this is an amazing, amazing set if you're a fan of Saved by the Bell. So there you go. There you go. Um, now we're going into some of the 90s stuff. Um, the first season of Blossom. I think they only put maybe... this. Oh, this is actually the first two seasons of Blossom. This might be the only set that they put out. But Blossom had six seasons. I don't know. 
Um, why this entire series isn't out, I don't know. It's a fucking crime. You can get the second season, which I still need to do. And I used to have, and I've... Over and over, I sell this shit, and I don't know why I do it. Because I absolutely love this show, and now I wish I had the second season back. Because the second season alone is super expensive to get on eBay. But this is the first season. Parker Lewis can't lose. Absolutely one of my favorite shows, for sure. Uh, it started in 1990, and it ended in 1994. Um, but yeah, Parker Lewis can't lose. Great fucking show. Ahead of its time hilarious goofy weird absurd right up my alley loved it then absolutely love it now i put an episode every single time on my saturday morning sleepovers parker lewis can't lose also a great theme song um, and i do an episode about it on the channel um this is the 1990 flash television show i loved it and I think it still holds up. Great comic book writers making this show. Um, yeah. And he would later show up in the newer Flash TV series, uh, playing several different characters, including 1990 Flash. Um, but, um, yeah, this was, a, this was a great show. Theme song by Danny Elfman. It was only, it was short-lived. It was only one season. Um... Ooh, come on. I'm a monster kid. I love horror. Have since I was little. Um, you can't go wrong with the Munsters, the complete series. Um, there you go. The Munsters. Loved it then, loved it now. My kid loved it as well. Um, this was also one of those shows that he would put on before bed. Um, but yeah. Mm. Mm. The true Munsters. Uh, then we got oh, we got this on Blu-ray, but it's just a it's just a collection. It's the entire series plus specials and whatnot. This is all of Pete and Pete, another great Nickelodeon show that I just adored when it was on. Um, this is a bootleg, and it's got everything on it. Pete and Pete, and in that vein, the complete series of Salute Your Shorts. And this has every episode plus some extras, which are very cool, behind-the-scenes stuff. Now, I don't know why Salute Your Shorts never got an official DVD release. It kills me that it didn't. I got this one directly from Donkey Lips himself, Michael Bauer. Um, one of the greatest comedy, absurd comedies ever, this, this group of comedians are some of the funniest people on the planet earth um this is strangers with candy the complete series all three seasons i love this show i love this type of dumb fucking weird comedy have since i was growing up it's in my movies it's what i gravitate towards the absurd comedy surreal comedy i love it monty python and kids in the hall and uh, the State and, you know, Strangers of Candy and Mr. Show and all of that shit. Like, that is my jam. This is a great show. Not many people knew about this show, but I sure did. It was syndicated uh, and I watched it then. And this was um, this was one season. Uh, and it's the complete series of They, they Came from Outer Space, starring Stuart Fracken and Dean Cameron. The wonderful duo from Ski School, which I love, and you know Dean Cameron in Summer School, uh, and so much more, and and Stuart Fracken from Teen Wolf, T-O-O, -O. Um, but this is a very fun show, and these two are just a great duo, comic duo. Love them in Ski School. Um, now I have this, I didn't really watch this when this was out. Um, when this came out, but being a big fan of Weird Al, I figured, what the hell, I'll just have it. I knew it was a television show, and I watched some episodes here and there, but at this point, um, I definitely wasn't, you know, 
really hardcore into these types of shows when they were airing. Um, but I do remember it airing, and this is the Weird Al show. Um, this I got mostly for River. Uh, so when this came out, um, I gave it to Riv because he loves Weird Al too. And um, but there you go, you know. I turned 20 when this show came out. And not that I wasn't still, you know, digging Weird Al and all that stuff. I just, the show, you know, uh, other things <laughs> meant more to me than watching the Weird Al show on Saturday mornings with it. Um, and then we've got, okay, so this is a late 90s television show that uh, Casey and I really, really fell for. It's so stupid. It's really dumb. The But the show is also very smart and... Uh, there's innuendo and there's some really funny stuff going on in this show if you are old enough and if you see what they're doing. But um, there is no official release. So my buddy um, put together all three seasons of Big Wolf on Campus for me on Blu-ray in the best quality I've seen them since they aired. So um, I am... Uh, thankful and lucky enough to have all of Big Wolf on Campus in my clutches right here on Blu-ray. Um, and then we have one of the greatest animated shows of all time, Batman, the animated series on Blu-ray. Um, it truly is one of the best cartoons ever created. Um, Talk about amazing writing, great animation, great voice acting. You know, it's uh, it's fucking amazing. Crom, I don't, you know, God, whatever. But Crom, he has taken Kevin Conroy into his bosom. Crom, Crom does not weep, so I will weep for Kevin Conroy. Um, he was a great man, a great Batman. And, uh... and then... To end this television, 80s and 90s television show. Oh, I guess I, no, I guess, no, I do have, here, I guess I should have done this one, but it was over here. But I do have the complete series of the 80s into 90s uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon. It's all here on DVD. Um another great cartoon another great franchise that i still love to this day but the last series i have is the 1966 batman television show it's all three seasons on blu-ray and they look phenomenal just phenomenal i love these old shows that were shot on film that they could clean up and really like you know do restorations proper restorations and whatnot but uh yeah the show is fantastic um and uh, there it is there it is folks that is right now my current list my current collection of 80s and 90s television shows on dvd and blu-ray so i hope you enjoyed watching um let me know what you have let me know if you didn't even know about some of this stuff um what are some of your favorite TV shows, cartoons on, on physical media. And, um, you know, I will be getting more. There are plenty more that I have on my wish lists on Amazon that I always add and like, Oh, i I love this show. Why didn't, why haven't I gotten this yet? So I added onto my wish list. And like I said before, a team needs to go on there. It is on there. Um, but I love a team, you know, there's a whole bunch of shows that still need to be in my collection. So, um, but that's it right now, guys. So thanks for watching. And uh, there will be more episodes coming soon. And I will be doing a live show soon. Um, I will be letting everybody know on the channel and on the social medias when I'll be doing that live show. I, uh, I miss it. And I would like all of you guys to come and join me live. And let's, let's do some Q&As. Let's talk. Let's talk my movies. Let's talk 80s. Let's talk movies in general. Let's talk horror. Let's talk toys, sci-fi, music, all that stuff. Huh? We got some stuff, guys. <laughs> oh.